Hi guys, welcome to the channel, I'm The Great Gardener. Uh, this video I'm going to um, take you around and uh, show you what my day looks like. Uh, it's not a super busy day, um, I've got um, two jobs in the morning. Uh, one is an ivy trim, just to kind of take the density off the ivy. Um, customers sorting the waste out. Uh, the Well the first one I'm going to uh, just now is uh, a new garden that I've just acquired. I cut the grass last week because it really needed doing and I was conscious of the rain and stuff. Um, and this visit I'm trimming a few conifers. Uh, there's a nice um, tree behind one of the conifers uh, with the pink leaves. Um, it's really nice but it's in a horrible position and she wants it just cutting right back down to the ground so I'm going to do that for her and just rake up all the dead stuff um, out the borders. Um, again I'll, I'll tell you the prices I may as well I'll tell you the prices as, as I go uh, so this one today um, is £40 um, purposefully a little bit cheap because I'm doing it fortnightly for £30 um, and I think once I get the border sorted out obviously the conifers trimmed back um, a lot of the time I'll only be going in and cutting the grass and as you can see the grass um, you know it's, it's a 20 minute job kind of thing and, you know give the, the paths a little sweep up really I really won't be long at all um, so yeah a lot of the time uh, it'll be the perfect little job and this afternoon I am waiting on confirmation they're, they're messing about a little bit uh, it's a grass cut the grass is fairly long I don't think it needs to strim um, and just to I think that's all I want to do and actually I'll check the diary I think they just wanted a grass cut um, but as I said it's a little bit long um, they're dealing the waste although I've got to put it in the sack for them and uh, I'll make sure I get the sack back and um, I think they've ordered a bin, they've just moved in or something and haven't got a garden bin sorted. Um, so yeah. So let's get going, it's not raining yet. Hopefully we'll get sorted before it starts. Okay, so slightly annoying. I think I've left my rake at one of my jobs yesterday. Uh, so I'm going to see if she's got a rake in the shed there. If not, I'm going to have to use my uh, little leaf grabbers, uh, which are still the crap ones. I still need to buy some more, <laughs> but they're doing the job so far. Uh, I'll just show you this as well. It was actually 45 this job, not 40. She'd already paid us 40 when I saw her last week and uh, she's just left a little five pound note just in the uh, in a money bag. Just when I go to get the, <laughs> the leaves and stuff down here. So uh, that was wedged in a bit more so it didn't blow away. Uh, it was right in there, so fair play to And uh, it's quite nice finding a fiver in amongst the uh, leaves. So uh, it'd be nice if other customers did that. <laughs> right, I'll get cracking. I'll show you when I'm doing the uh, the conifer in the bush. So what I'm going to do now is just cut these here. That's the conifer, leaving that one. So that, 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 and maybe that one. No, I think that's a conifer. Yeah. So just a few cuts here, and then that should hopefully uh, uh, cut it right down and uh, get it out. Right, okay, that's good. A uh, customer came back there and she was really happy with what I'd done. Um, I didn't bother filming it, but I just went over the border a little bit with the hole and that. But I do want to see what um, pops up. Obviously, the temperatures are rising now. Um, we're in April, it's been a poor 
uh, start of the spring, but uh, things are going to start popping up, and uh, I don't want to go uh, hell for leather in the borders just in case I, uh, you know, pull something up I don't want to. So that'll be ongoing anyway, so that's fine. Uh, on the next one, um, got an ivy kind of thinning, shall we call it. Um, as I say, customers dealing with waste, it's, um, it's actually my sister's boyfriend's mum, so uh, to make sure it's kind of what it is, so uh, I'm just going to give it a, a quick kind of once over, nothing too drastic, I don't want to be here, just um, charging 30 quid for this one. Um, I'll thin it right back, but uh, yeah, I don't want to spend hours on this one. As I say, we're thinning this house, I'll turn you around. And what I want to do is take all that thick off at the top there and then go as far back as I can along the bottom and the back. So I'm not going to go, I'm not tackling all that at the top, the branches, I'm just sticking with the ivy. Get all the thick off. And then see if I can, you know, how far back I can go there. And then put as much as I can in the bin and pile it up here. Uh, it is windy, I may have to leave me tarp and cover it. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Right, so I'm about 45 minutes in. Uh, about three quarters of the way done and um, I said this was a bit of a favour, my sister's uh, boyfriend's mum, uh, 30 quid, <laughs> so um, less than here. If you're going to do sort of mere traits, friends and family, if you're going to do it, not everyone does, people sort of, a lot of people say stay clear, um, but with it being so close to home, obviously I, I didn't want to say no, I've been meaning to do this job for ages anyway, um, but 30 quid, pretty stupid. Um, I'll turn you around. So, this is the side I haven't yet done. Still thick. That big bit there, I'm going to see how far that can go back. And that, hopefully, you can see, it's not entirely obvious, starts about here. So, it's trimmed back as far as I can kind of go and I've got the extension you can't really say any to be fair it's, it's not very good um, anyway I've got this bit left <sighs> don't do stuff for friends and family <laughs> right so uh, job done I'm just gonna uh, get the leaf blower out and uh, uh, blow some of the stray leaves and that uh, someone's got a fire as well don't you can see behind is the smoke somewhere stinks uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, looks a bit of a hack job, but when you do ivy like this, um, it's obviously going to be quite bare. And I've purposely left uh, some hanging down vines. Uh, so in a couple of months, this will be full of leaves again, but just that little bit thinner and not as dense. So I've just looked at the before picture of the before video and uh, a lot to come off. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Um, again, it's the old friends and family. It's up to you guys. Uh, I'm glad I've done it, it's got out of the way anyway. It's another 30 quid, hour and a half. Yeah, could be worse, I suppose. So, with jobs like that, I'd say communication is key, so uh, the customer might go back and have a look and uh, see it all, like, you know, the straggly vines, like bits of bare patches and stuff, and um, what I tend to do uh, with jobs like that is uh, just explain, I'll send uh, the customer a message now, just say, you know, job's done kind of thing. Um, it's looking a bit bare at the moment, but the leaves will grow back. Uh, I've left some of the vines um, where I think it might have been too bare if I'd cut them off. Uh, so again, uh, the leaves will grow back there. And I think it's just how you approach it. You know, um, I think it's good practice as well. You know, obviously if she was here, I'd uh, show her uh, before I left and, you know, explain it and go through it. And, um, you know, I think that's the best you can do, really. And everything's honest and up front and uh, it's alleviates any kind of queries or questions that she might have or you know that kind of thing really so um i've got a nip home now um got to get the mower in the back of this uh grass job uh later well in a minute um 
get a sack because I think uh, I said I'd uh, sack the waste up until the, the garden bin arrives and uh, I'll film a little bit again and uh, we'll get going. Uh, what's the time? It's one o'clock. I've made, what was it, 45, 75 quid so far. Uh, not too bad. I'll be doing by about, what's the time? About, about three o'clock or something like that. Because um, my girlfriend's going out and uh, obviously I need to be back for the little one. So um, yeah, not too bad. So I couldn't film too much here. Um, this grass is going to get a couple of cuts. It was a bit of an issue, a bit of a language barrier, I think, over what I was actually going to be doing today. Um, I thought it was just the grass. Um, but it's that bottom bit here, and they asked us to trim this back. I will give it a bit of a trim and I'll trim down there. Um, but we've agreed on a price. Uh, just want to get the job done and get it over with, really, so I'll not film too much more. <laughs> So I'm down the other end of the garden now, I'm still behind a picture because I've got a bit of an audience at the window uh, the, the kid and the dad's just like pretty much watching us um, So there's this down here which I didn't know they wanted doing um, We've agreed I'm going to pick all this dead stuff up now and then I'm just going to blitz it with the strimmer rake it up and put it in the sack um, Because there were a few issues I said look with you being a first a new customer I need the money up front so I have, I've been paid um, I'll show you in a second the grass. It's, it's so many lumps and bumps. It needs. It, I mean, it's got loads of moss and dead stuff in, so it needs a good scarify and, and long care and all the rest of it. But they're not bothered. They just want to uh, short. So a couple of passes with the mower and trim the edges, and that's all I can do with that one. Um, again, trim down here, and uh, that's job done. Uh, they did want us to tackle the ivy, but I didn't really want the ivy do. <laughs> like, uh, I might get a couple of the long, the long bits up at the bottom, but. Uh, I don't know, as I say, I think it's a language, it was a bit of a language barrier when I came to quote the, the husband just kind of said, uh, just kept talking about the grass, I said, I did kind of ask if you want anything else to do, and he's like, just the grass, uh, but anyway, it's the way it goes, um, I'll see you back in the van. Right, so, uh, that's the job done, uh, it's quarter past three, um, I started, I think I started loading the van at half past nine, got the first job at ten, ten and half past three, um, 135 quid earned. Um, that job there was one of the less glamorous ones, uh, but ones that I quite enjoy. And to be honest, the, that's the reality is uh, you do get a lot of jobs like that where it's it's never going to be a nice thorn. The you know the clients don't particularly care; uh, they just want everything trimmed back. Um, that garden and lawn needed hours and hours and hours spending on it, uh, more than they're prepared to pay. Fair enough. Uh, that's the reality, and um, you know that's they're, they're the types of gardens that you end up going to a lot of the time, and um, you can earn good money uh, if you you get the right gear. Um, you know you can be in and out in um, no time at all, really, and um, you know earn some decent money. Uh, hopefully, I'll get that as a regular grass cut. Um, I've offered that, um, so they said they're going to get back to us on that one, um, and. You know, if anyone's watching and um, you haven't taken the plunge yet and, uh, you know, you're thinking about starting your own gardening business, uh, you can earn good money. I've done, you know, um, one, two, three jobs today. <laughs> um, my head's battered now. Um, you know, and that's that's the kind of money you can earn. Now I'm setting myself a target of earning um, at least 100 quid every day. Obviously, that's not all mine. That money I've earned today isn't all mine. Um I've done videos on costs and all that, so you know, check my channel out. But um, as I say, it's only quarter past three. I need to go back now because my girlfriend's going out tonight, and we need to get tea sorted before um, she goes out, and I've got to look after uh, the little one. So you know, I could have done an extra couple of cuts or whatever, and um, you know, and even more kind of thing. Uh, so a bit of a new video. Um, let us know if um, you like them. I can do more. Um, yeah. Obviously, any comments and things, um, I've got uh, links and stuff in the description of you know things I've used and 
yeah, I got my wireless earphones on, I love um, stuff like that, yeah. Uh, say hi as well if you're new, uh, check out the channel, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers, bye.